You've come to Sabbath school. Welcome to Sabbath school. You've come to Sabbath school. Welcome to Sabbath school. Happy Sabbath, boys and girls. Welcome to Sabbath school. Let's pray to open up Sabbath school, okay? Bow your heads. Dear Jesus, thank you for bringing us to Sabbath School today. Please bless us to have a wonderful time learning more about you. Please be with our friends and our family that's in our household and our friends and our family that's outside of our household. Please help them to just be able to lean on you and to trust in you and to know that you're there for them. We love you, Jesus. Amen. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct your paths. Proverbs 3, verses 5 and 6.
Trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord. With all your heart. With all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In, in all, all your ways. In all your ways. Acknowledge him. Acknowledge him. He, he will, will make your path straight. Wants you to be in that way. Don't you ever, ever stray. You'll be on your way to an amazing life. Once you begin that way, don't you ever, ever stray. You'll be on your way to an amazing life. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, in all your ways, acknowledge Him, acknowledge Him. He will make your path straight. Once you begin that way, don't you ever, ever stray. You'll be on your way to an amazing life. Once you begin that way, don't you ever, ever stray. You'll be on your way to an amazing life. He will make your path straight. Oh yeah, he will make your path straight. Bible, Bible talks about Jesus. Bible, Bible talks about Jesus. Yes, my Bible. Yes, my Bible. Today, we're going to talk about Noah and the big, big boat. And then we're going to talk about the promise from God. This is taken from Genesis chapter 6. Many years later, there were lots of people on the earth, but most of them were bad. One man, Noah, was good. He obeyed God. I want you to build a boat, God told Noah. Noah started right away. People laughed at Noah because they lived in a desert and there was no water for his boat. Noah just went on building the boat. Do you think it is easy to obey when everyone is laughing at you? I don't think so. But then in chapter seven of Genesis, Noah continues building the boat and he finishes. When the boat was finished, God told Noah and his family to go into the boat. In went his sons Shem, Ham, and Jasaph. In went their wives and Miss Noah. Now bring two of every animal, God told Noah. Noah did exactly what God told him to do and God watched over him. Something very wet was about to happen outside. Can you guess what that was? Well, later in Genesis chapter 7, we're inside the boat. And when the last animal climbed into the boat, God shut the door. Plip, plop, plip, plop. It began to rain. It rained so much. The water was over the meadows. It rained so much. It covered the towns. It rained so much. It even covered the mountains. But inside the boat, everyone was safe. How many days do you think it rained? Do you remember reading this? Well, let me tell you. After 40 days and 40 nights, the rain stopped. But it still wasn't time to get off the boat. Water was everywhere. One day, Noah let a dove fly out to see what was happening on the earth. It brought back a green leaf. Hooray! The plants were growing again. It was almost time to come out. 
what do you think everyone did when Noah opened the door of the boat? Do you think they tried to get out? Well, in Genesis chapter eight and nine, it tells us when everyone was out of the boat, Noah built an altar. He thanked God for keeping them safe. Then something wonderful happened. God put a beautiful rainbow in the sky and made Noah a promise. It will never flood over the whole earth like that again, God said. And when God makes a promise, he keeps it. All God's promises are in the Bible. Isn't it wonderful to think of all he has promised us? And every time it rains, we can look up in the sky and see our reminder of God's promises. That's right, boys and girls, the rainbow. Have a wonderful day and share Jesus with someone today. Hello, boys and girls. I hope you were listening to today's story. We have a pop quiz. The first question is, why did God send a flood to destroy the people of the world? Do you know the answer? That's right, because the people were evil always. And our next question, were the people warned that they would be destroyed? And the answer is yes, God told Noah and Noah told the people. Our third question, in what were Noah and his family saved? Do you remember what that thing was called? That's right, the ark. And our next question, what did the people do when they saw Noah building the ark? That's right, they laughed at him. Our fifth question, do you know how long it rained? And that's right, boys and girls, it rained for 40 days and 40 nights. Our next question is, what did Noah do to find out whether the waters were drying up? That's right, he sent out a dove to see if they were dry. Our seventh question, what was the first thing Noah and his family did when they left the ark? That is correct, he built an altar to praise God. And our last question, what did God use as a sign of his promise to never destroy the earth again? Correct, a rainbow. I'm so glad you were listening, boys and girls. You did great. Let's get started on our activity. Number one, animal homes. Where does this goldfish live? Have you guessed it yet? There's the answer in a fishbowl. Number two. Okay, let's see. Where does the doggy live? Have you guessed it yet? Let's see if you were right. Did you guess it right? Okay, now let's do number three. The cow. Where does the cow live? Let's see if you were right. In the barn. Great job. Okay, last one. The bird. In the web or the nest? Well, let's see if you were right. Did you say the nest? I know you did. Great job, everybody. Hello boys and girls and welcome to today's fun facts. Our first fun fact, standing tall. Flamingos bend their legs at the ankle, not at the knees. Re essentially, they stand on tiptoe. Their knees are closer to their body and are covered by feathers. That's taken from rd.com. Our next fun fact is about Fruit Loops. Fruit Loop flavors don't really taste like orange, lemon, cherry, and lime. In fact, they all taste the same because every bit of cereal is the same flavor, regardless of the color. Taken from today.com. Our third fun fact, King of the Bats. 
the largest bat in the world is the golden crowned flying fox, which boosts a wingspan up to 5.5 feet and weighs about 2.5 pounds. That's taken from batcon.org. And our last fun fact, snow can be pink. Watermelon snow occurs when a certain type of algae blooms. Pink snow has been spotted in the Rockies, the Himalayas, the Arctic, and Antarctica. That's taken from countryliving.com. I hope you enjoy today's fun facts. Bye. To most people, a crowded city street in India sounds like this. But since Sundrama was born, city streets sounded like this. You see, Sundrama is deaf. She cannot hear or speak with words. She talks with her hands. Sundrama was not always able to communicate using sign language. When she was young, she couldn't go to school because the school could not accommodate deaf children. Her family was sad that she would not receive an education like the other children her age. One day, a woman knocked on their door and told them about a school for the deaf run by the Seventh-day Adventists and invited Sundrama to attend. The family was so happy, they could hardly contain their excitement. At first, Sundrama had a difficult time learning. She was not used to school and missed her family. But the more time she spent here, the easier it became and the more she wanted to stay. Sundrama eventually learned sign language and could talk to her friends. At this school, she also learned about Jesus. The teacher would take the class outside and teach them all the lessons of the Bible. Sundrama was fascinated by the stories she learned. She loved the Adventist education she received. Now Sundrama is older. She shares her faith with her family and neighbors. When people don't understand sign language, she writes notes to tell them of Jesus' love. She can read and write in English and her local language. If it were not for Adventist education, Sundrama would not be able to communicate and share the way she does now. Please pray for this school and other Adventist schools throughout India. Pray that they can teach our children the wonderful lessons of Jesus. And thank you for supporting the mission of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Oh Lord, I want to thank you, thank you, thank you. Lord, I want to thank you, thank you, thank you. Lord, I want to thank you all the days of my life. Oh Lord, I want to thank you, thank you, thank you. I just want to thank you, thank you, thank you. Lord, I thank you all the days of my life. I want to thank you, thank you, thank you. Lord, I want to thank you, thank you, thank you. Lord, I want to thank you all the days of my life. Oh, Lord, I want to thank you, thank you, thank you. I just want to thank you, thank you, thank you. Lord, I thank you all the days of my life. Cereal. So today we are going to use some rainbow cereal on the paper. Then you're going to use your glue so we can stick the cereal so we can make a rainbow craft. Hi boys and girls, so we have our materials. So let's get started. Count with me with all the fruit cereal. So we have one and two, three, four, five, Six. Very good. Yeah, and six. how many red do we have? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Very good. Thirteen. Okay, so how many orange do we have? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11. Very good. 11. Okay, how many yellow do we have? So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, uh -huh. 8, good job. 9, and 10. 
a little off. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we just one off. Very good. All right, how many green do we have? So one, two, three, four, five. Six. Six. Mm -hmm. And how many blue? We have one, two, three, four. Very good. And how many purple? We have one, two. Very good. And which color of the rainbow do we need to start with first? So we start with red at the top. Mm -hmm. So we're going to take our glue. Mm -hmm. So let's take that top off. All right. We're going to go ahead and take the top off the glue. We'll be right back. Hi, boys and girls. Today you have seen that we need an upside down U. Mm -hmm. So then we're going to take our red cereal and put it right on the top of the upside U. Okay, go ahead. Now, we're going to stick it on. So, that we're missing a lot of red. Now you can see that there's missing pieces. So you have some extra pieces next to you, right? Extra pieces just next to you. Mm -hmm. Just in case. Very good. Okay, go ahead and now keep going with the red. Take our red. Put it on the red. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to start with our orange. So, I'm putting that one right there. Go ahead. What color are we doing now? Then we're starting with our yellow. All right. So we're doing one first. How do you think the boys and girls at home are doing right now? Well, you're doing good. Good job. Mm -hmm. Hi, boys and girls. Today we are going to take our green mix, mm -hmm. which means we already have the red and the orange and the yellow. So now we're going to start with our green. All righty then. Let's get started. Okay. Okay. Boys and girls, you guys are doing such a great job at home. Okay. It's okay. You're doing good. Here. Sometimes the glue can get stuck to your fingers, but that's okay. That's why we have soap and water. Most we have sand, sand sanitizer too. Mm-hmm, that's right. That one fast. Hi, boys and girls. Today we already start with the red and the orange and the yellow and the green. So now we're gonna start with our blue. So one, sand two, and three. All right. And then the last little bit. Would you like to do the honors for the little dot of glue for the purple? Uh, yeah. Here you go. Okay. Right, right there. Good job. Okay. Nope, oh, that's it. Great job. No, we need that. Okay. Then we have to add one last. You need to add one little more dot. Yeah, yes. put it right next to this one. Yeah, right there. Good job. Okay. Okay. Let me see the glue. Yeah, Great this. job. And now we have to put it right there. Mm-hmm. And we're just gonna move this up just a little bit. That way it connects. And there you have it. And there you have it. Today, Your? It's sticky. Hey, can I show Daddy Mommy? Okay, hold on. Let's let it dry first. <laughs> Great job, boys and girls. We're going to go ahead and add a memory verse at the bottom, and we'll be right back. Yeah, we'll be right back. Okay, so the memory verse for our craft today is found in Genesis chapter 9, verse 13. I set my rainbow in the cloud, and it shall be the sign 
It shall be for the sign of the covenant between me and the earth. Thanks so much for watching and enjoying the craft with us today, boys and girls. Have a great day and happy Sabbath. Bye. Simone Arian Biles was born on March 14, 1997 in Columbus, Ohio. She has three siblings. Her grandmother started playing an active role in her upbringing in 2000, and during this period, Biles grew up in, a suburbs, in the suburbs of Houston, Texas. At a young age, it became clear that Simone was destined for a career as a professional gymnast. Simone Biles was then taken out of her regular classes and was homeschooled for the rest of her secondary education to allow her plenty of time to train over the years. Simone is the most accomplished American gymnast of all time with a total of 32 medals to her name, both Olympic and world championships. Simone is one of the most decorated gymnasts in world history. Many believe that Simone Biles is the greatest gymnast of all time. Thanks so much for watching and enjoying this moment in Women's History Month. Have a great day. It's prayer time, boys and girls. Let's bow our heads. Dear Jesus, Thank you for blessing and keeping us. Thank you for watching over us and protecting us. Thank you for being with our family and our friends and for showing them love. Thank you for blessing us with a place to sleep and food to eat. Please continue to watch over our friends and our family and keep them safe. Please help those who help others and teach others new things. Please continue to give us the things that we need and to help others learn more about you. We love you, Jesus. Amen. Our Sabbath school is over and we are going to church. Goodbye, goodbye, be always kind and true. Goodbye, goodbye, be always kind and true. Bye, boys and girls. See you next time.